Hello, Earth Signs. This is your April 2020 general reading. Remember, this isn't going to resonate with everyone out there. So take what does and what doesn't. Please just disregard it. Remember, this is reaching many people around the world. So not everything I'm going to say is going to resonate with every single earth sign out there. So just keep that in mind. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started. And I am so excited. I like to go ahead and um, I personally like to pre-shuffle. You might not see me shuffle very much on camera, but I like to pre-shuffle and then meditate a little bit before I start reading your cards. That's just how I prefer to do things. But while I was shuffling and laying out your cards, all I have to say is, wow, I see right here that you've been dormant for a while and now you're ready to go ahead and give something that you've been wanting to do a second chance. And you're gonna be highly successful, my earth signs, highly successful. Let's go ahead and start here with the Cobra. Right here, I'm getting that a lot of you are now ready to go ahead and you've been the you've been the student. You're now ready to be the student and your teacher is about to appear. Um, if that's making any sense to you, I feel like a lot of you are going to be going into business with a new partner because we have the new partner right here. If you can see it on the screen, I hope you can see it. I feel like a lot of you are going to have another partner that's going to help you get to the next level. I'm seeing that coming and these are your messages for April. So I'm so freaking excited. We have the snake right here. I feel like you're now, it's basically telling you with this snake spirit right here is that it's now is the time for you earth signs to go ahead and tap into that potential that you know you have and that you know you can do. It's time to stop being so scared and go after it. With the bear right here, I'm seeing that now, earth signs, you're coming out of that slumber, especially now with what's going on in the world. I see that you're now starting to go after what, you, what you've been wanting to do. You know, you have time to probably work towards self-employment, that business idea that you've been wanting to do. You now have that time, you know, with this bear spirit, it's reminding you that, hey, you're going to be a little stumbly at first and a little groggy with it and kind of, you know, like what's going on. I'm, you know, just awakening back to it, but you're going to be very successful with it. We have, oh my gosh, I love this. Resilience and we have discernment. So these two came out at the same time. Um, and I feel like earth signs, you've learned your lessons, you've made your mistakes, and now it's time for a new chapter. That's what I'm getting. Now is the time and you're getting it. The divine is saying, yes, you've held a lot of burdens on your back. It's been very hard for you over the past couple of years. And now since you're taking a leap of faith and starting to go into a new direction, these burdens are about to be lifted. But I'm cautioning, cautioning you right now, earth signs, that discernment is going to be needed. You don't really need to be telling people what you're doing and what your plans are. You know, just go ahead and do it. Move in silence, earth signs. Because we got right here in the past position, you have judgment. You have a judgment, a second chance. Um, with the lovers right here, I'm seeing like it's a choice. You've made a decision. You've made a choice with these lover, with the lovers right here. With the judgment, I'm feeling like it's a second chance. You're... You're waking up. You're coming out of this box. How these people are coming out of the box and answering the call to this angel right here. You're now coming up. You're getting, you're getting a second chance. And you're making a choice right here with, this, with the lovers, earth signs. And you're planting that seed, the ace of pentacles right here. Now you're starting to water that seed. And this seed is going to grow big. That is actually your challenge position right here. But... Is going to be watering that seed this month of April, but I see you not really having that much of a problem with doing so. You're going to go in. You're going in on this earth signs. And also I see the result right here. The outcome is basically ah, the 
six of swords and you're going to be recovering. You're going to be moving to smoother waters, whether you know it or not, earth signs. You're going to be entering smoother, calmer waters to come, even though things are looking a little shaky right now. Um, with everything that's going on right now, layoffs. I don't know if you were laid off or whatever the situation is, it's a blessing in disguise. So take advantage of this opportunity because now is definitely the time, earth signs. We also got right here at the bottom of the deck, we have the Phoenix and that caught my eye. The Phoenix right here, you are basically coming up. You are coming up. You've, you're the Phoenix, you're the Phoenix earth signs. You are now coming up out of all that pain, all that struggle. And you're, you're coming out as the Phoenix and I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited for you. We also have, the messenger right here. This is basically telling you that you're basically a divine messenger. You're here to help bring balance to this earth. You know, serious energy. A lot of you are star seeds and you're here to bring balance to the earth. Um, you need to know that you've done this before, that you've been here and you're going to overcome all of it. You're in April, you're going at it. You're going full force in it in April, earth signs. And I'm so excited for you. Oh, or for us, because I'm an earth sign too. Um, we have casket right here. Someone's going out of your life or an end of a situation. And for what, from what I'm seeing, a situation is ending in April. Whether you see it or not, something is actually ending. Despite all this craziness that's going on in this world, a situation is ending. And for some, you're actually going to be moving away from somebody and having a new partner. Now with this new partner right here, it can be romantic or business, but a lot of you are having the, the new partner with the business right here. But also in love, I feel like definitely someone new is coming into your life and that's exciting too for those who, those who are looking into love. We have August right here is gonna be very significant for your earth signs. Um, this could be like your birthday or whatever, but take a note of August. Something's arriving in August. That's going to be in a significant month for you. Um, you know what? When I get this carriage right here, a journey, either physical or mental, I'm getting that some of you actually in August will be moving. I don't know why I'm getting this, but some of you will actually be moving in in August. And it's going to be a change for the better. You know, a new home, a new, uh, maybe a new job somewhere else. But something, this new offer that's coming in for you, this new business, this new entrepreneurship that you're going to doing, end up doing, it may end up taking you out of state. And I, for some of you, you'll be leaving in August. That's, I'm getting that through spirit for some. It also wants you to know Want you to know in April, I'm getting way too excited, that news is on its way. So whatever you've been waiting for, it's on its way. It's coming. The Spirit wants you to know that. So hang tight. Also, we have over here, we have compromise. These two fell out and in the, new, in the near future. So intuitively, this is telling me that there's going to be some type of offer or something that's going to come in for you very soon in the near future. And it's going to require you to have to compromise with your family. If you're with a spouse, your lover, your husband, boyfriend, um, girlfriend, whatever, what have you, you're going to have to compromise on something. Because I feel like maybe some of you are going to have to, have to really compromise on this move. Because some of you are going to end up having to move and there's going to be a lot of compromise with it on this relocation that may be coming in, which is going to be big for you. Ah, so excited. We also have confidence is the key. Some of you earth signs are kind of, you know, lacking in confidence. I know how that feels. You get a little self-conscious or whatever, but you got to go up there and you got to do it. Like confidence is the key. Go ahead and I know you're scared of embarrassing yourself. I'm scared of embarrassing myself all the time. In fact, I think that I am the master of freaking embarrassing myself. 
That's <laughs> just whatever. Fuck it. That's just how that's how you have to do it sometimes. You got to be willing to do that to be able to get ahead and get what you want. Who cares what everyone else thinks? Do you earth signs? Do you? So that's letting you know that your success is going to be your confidence. We also have right here the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to a things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So something's going to be coming to light in April, and I don't see you earth signs taking it very hard. You're just going to be very lighthearted and willing to just go with the flow. You know, you've already been through so much. It's just like, hey, I can handle this too. You're going to be going, you're just going to be going with the flow. We also got the Phoenix again. That's crazy because we have the Phoenix right here. <laughs> when I was shuffling, we got the Phoenix again. So you're actually entering transformation. Change your mind on something. You've decided that you don't want to go the same way that you've been going and you're ready to go ahead and venture out on this new journey this new idea you're watering this seed you're definitely doing transformation baby transformation all over you're transforming period you're transforming i love that right there and then we have separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning so <clears throat> excuse me with the separation i'm getting I'm getting that some of you will be separating with a current partner and be having a new partner for love for some of you. But a lot of you, this actually means um, separation from your old job and what you were doing before and, enter, and doing something new, taking a risk and doing something new. Moving on right here. Six, six of swords, moving on, period. That's what I see right there with the separation. But let me go ahead and... Uh, pull a love oracle for you let me go ahead and pull one ah! well that was good heart to heart conversations flirt okay so we have flirt lighthearted. Let's see Let's see if i can get one more for true love that's too many, but I'm just going to take the one at the top of the deck. Release your ex. Okay, no. We're going to do all of these. Okay, I see where that's going. Okay. For some of you with love right here, Earth Signs, I feel like there's been, with this, okay, so with the dragonfly right here, I feel like something's going to be coming to the light, an issue is going to be coming to a light that you've had in a relationship, and you're actually going to be closing it with the casket right here. Um, either that relationship, for well, for some of you, the relationship's going to end. And for some of you, um, whatever issue you've had with this person is actually going to come to a, come to a conclusion and you'll, you'll be able to work it out. So some heart to heart conversations are going to be needed. Um, I feel like the situation with the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I also feel like there's going to be a need um, for you earth signs to really work on that relationship and flirt. You know, flirt. This is like two different, two different situations I'm seeing in this card. You know, there's going to be a situation where you're going to need to flirt with the people and you're going to, you're basically going to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your significant other Certain things are going to, that were in the dark are going to come to light, but they're not going to be really bad things. I'm not getting something really extremely bad. It's going to be an issue that has been aggravating you for a while. And finally, you're basically going to compromise and come together because you have true love right here. But I feel like also with this, for some of you earth signs, with whatever issue you've been dealing with, um, you may have actually... Because the person has actually been aggravating you, like you're not seeing eye to eye and fighting about some 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 issue in your relationship. You may have been in contact with your ex and maybe had a little bit of a nostalgia and starting to think that, hey, maybe the grass is greener and there's a need for you to release that. And I feel like maybe with this ex, you have children with this ex. 
yeah, you have children with the, with this ex. That's where I'm getting the children from. Children with this ex. And you might be having um, some nostalgia. But I'm going to let you know right now <clears throat> that why you left that person, your ex, to begin with, that it's going to be the same shit. It's going to be the same shit. Sorry. <laughs> um, that person is just the way they are. I mean, it seems... A little bit greener because maybe you and your person have hit a little bit of a rough patch or whatever but um I see that this relationship can work it definitely can work I see that and there is another half where some of you um are actually going to literally get a new partner um but for the majority of you I see this situation right here is just you know, something, something, maybe the person is, um, they're just doing something that's just bothering you. It's been a constant irritating issue. And finally, it's going to come to a close. But we really need to just release that X and cut off contact because that's just going to be trouble. That's just going to be some trouble for you. Earth signs. The grass is not always greener. Um, but that's all I have for you. I'm really excited for April. The future looks really bright even though it's crazy in the world right now it's gonna get better trust me it's gonna get so much freaking better i can't i'm just i'm happy this reading lifts my spirits and i hope it lifted yours um <clears throat> if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe buttons subscribe button i cannot talk today also maybe some of you need to work on your throat chakra i know i need to work on mine but <laughs> go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when i'm uploading future videos all right love you all bye